We just finished testing the Suncatcher V322 GT. This is by G3, which is a Yamaha company, so it's no surprise that we have a Yamaha 150 on the back. Now this is a triple tube setup, and it's a little bit unusual. Uh, it has three uh, 23 by 25 U-shaped tubes, and it has lifting strikes on, the outside, on both sides of the outside tubes and none on the center tube, which is a lot of lift. A little bit unusual though. Most uh, companies will do the lifting strikes on just the insides of the outside tubes and then on both sides of the middle tube if you get that. What really accounted for a lot of lift. We were on plane in 2.3 seconds with very little bow rise and then to 30 miles an hour in 8.2 seconds with a top speed of 35.2 miles an hour. Now with this uh, uh, lifting strike and tube situation is a bit unusual. Those three tubers will lean a little bit to the inside when you turn. Uh, this one has what I would consider to be flat turning with a slight lean to the outside. Let's head back to the dock and check out some of the features of this boat. Steve, it seems like we're missing something here, like a Gatorade or a smoothie right. or something like that. Right. This a is totally... hot coffee of the morning. Exactly. Now, uh, this is entirely new for Suncatcher, isn't it? It is. This is a really nice little uh, center console here, a little center entertainment console, and they've got a lot of seating around it, so you could really, these seats will swivel, so you could really set up back here and have a nice evening cruise. Nice. Well, these, uh, one thing I really like about these pedestals is they're uh, height adjustable. Uh, if it gets too tall, that hurts my knee. I have a bad knee, but uh, that's, that's a really nice feature. Yeah, I think this is a real classy look for this boat. I really do. I just, it, to me, it just is a class. Well, I like the fact you got seven people all around so you can have a nice little conversation pit uh, kind of set up there. Yep. Pretty nice. Hey, let's go back here and take a look at this. Hey, this is pretty cool. Yeah, it's a nice little kitchen sink here. A couple things that I think are interesting about it is it, it does have a water pump inside so that you've got fresh water and it's got a little 12 volt right here where you could put a blender or you know some other kind of little thing and then you know get your drinks all ready and serve them out. Nice. Well, it looks like uh, we have a Yamaha 150 on the back. I imagine we could do a little skiing on this boat as well, right? Yep, that'd be correct. This boat runs really good. With, well, that is the, the high rated motor for this boat. And you know, with the power steering that goes with it, it should run real nice and smooth for you. Beautiful. What do we have at the helm here, Steve? Uh, we've got a nice uh, tilt steel with a custom G3 wheel and it is power steering for the rear of the boat. Um, laid into this kind of a newly designed console. I think it's kind of a sleek look. And again, I'm kind of a big uh, proponent of having 12 volts to keep cell phones and everything else plugged in. So there's another one up there. It has free gauges and with trim fuel, you know, tack and speedometer. And then uh, beautiful Alpine stereo lays in here that is Bluetooth, so you can kind of move around and use that however you want. I like how it has a, a space for a flash drive there too. That's pretty neat. Yep. Well, Steve, you know, one of the trends I'm noticing the last couple of years is uh, a lot of pontoon manufacturers are going away from carpeting. And I'm seeing a lot of decks uh, like vinyl. Uh, what, what is this, vinyl? This is a vinyl teak deck, and I, I think it's just kind of adds the same kind of classy look that that, you know, that center adds back there. And, um, of course, we've got the center log storage, which gives you plenty of storage up front in the boat. You know, because there isn't a lot of storage at the back because basically it's all set up for entertainment. So, yeah. you know, we want to make sure we've got plenty of storage. It's located up front and under these seats. Right. Wow, it's huge too. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, if you need to put more than that in here, you know. <laughs> <laughs> well, Steve, uh, I know this is the shorter of the two recliners, and I was kind of wondering if I was going to fit, but I'm a six-footer. No worries. Yeah, there's plenty of plenty of places to recline on the boat for evening cruises and whatnot. For more information on the Suncatcher V322 GT and other great boats, go to BoatingWorld.com. I'm Alan Jones and we'll see you out on the water. Beautiful day here at Table Rock Lake near Branson, Missouri.